Hello and welcome to Jill Cameron Creations. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. Today we are doing alcohol ink and alcohol lift ink. So I'm making a card for Make the Cards Challenge and we're using a bunch of different products and I'll have all of the links below in the description of course. But I'm using some blue alcohol inks on Upo paper. I have a background stamp and alcohol lift ink. And I'm also going to be stamping some images to put on top of this and we're going to do some die cutting as well. So how do you use alcohol lift ink? Number one, you have to let it dry. Don't forget that. That's the most important thing when you're doing alcohol lift ink on alcohol backgrounds is you got to let that alcohol lift ink dry before you touch it. Why is this important you ask? Because you can smear that stuff everywhere. How do I know? Because I've <laughs> smeared it everywhere. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just dropping blue ink on a wet background. I just covered my Yupo paper in um, my alcohol solution, my blending solution. And then I'm just dropping various colors of blue inks on my background. I actually paused and went and got this lighter blue. I needed some brightness in the background. And then I'm going to take my blower and just blow this ink around. Uh, pull that color in from the edges. Push it back out towards the edges. Just to get a good blend. And then I'm going to pull, push this off to the side and let it set and dry. I want it to dry completely before I do anything else with it. This blower comes in real handy. If you don't have one of these... Don't use a heat gun because your ink is going to dry too fast. You can use a straw in your breath. Um, you can just let it set and do its own thing and do it naturally. You can also um, just pick the paper up and kind of move it around however you want to. But that blower is from Tim Holtz and it is super, super, super handy dandy. While it's drying, we're going to go ahead and stamp our images. These are Catherine Puller stamps, and the background stamp that I'm using is, is from Catherine Puller as well. And I'm using some uh, Stampin' Up inks. And our challenge for Make the Card Challenge this week is really fun. Is three embellishments, two die cuts, and one stamped image. And that's like the minimum to use on the card. You can use more than that, but that's like the minimum to use on the card. So it's a lot of fun to play along with these uh, unique challenges. And that's over on Make the Cards Challenge. And of course, I'll have the link to that below. So I have two stamped images here and a little cactus. And I'm going to use the sentiments I'm stuck on you. And then I'm going to die cut that out. And I have that, um, the the dies from the Hippo and Friends from Stampin' Up, and it has all those label dies in it. And they have the, the, the fun label die that it has the, the dots in it, and I'm using that one. And it's kind of round, but kind of not. And when I stamped the sentiment here, I thought I had enough room to do that, but I didn't. So I had to re-stamp it a little bit further up and then die cut it out so that's why I had to restamp it it wasn't that I didn't get a good stamp here I didn't have enough room to die cut it without cutting off the bottom oops but that's okay so that's why you see it die cut and stamped and die cut a second time uh, on the the card stock there it was die cut and it was stamped perfectly but when I, I didn't have enough room on the bottom so that that's what all that was so I'm going to tape it down, run that through my die cut machine, and then I'm going to have this beautiful little label with the sentiment on here. And I mentioned very forcefully at the beginning that you need to make sure that when you're using the alcohol lift ink that it dries before you do anything to it. You're going to notice that I have a lot of ink on my plate of my die cut machine when we're done. If that happens, that's absolutely fine. Clean it off with alcohol. You haven't ruined anything. I had ink on my dies and I had ink on my cutting plates. Just clean it off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol that I use is 91% rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. 70% um, still works. It just t takes a little bit longer. Just keep that in mind when you're purchasing like rubbing alcohol to clean up this kind of stuff. Also, the more times that you stamp this, the more of the ink you're going to pull up. I stamped off my stamp with the alcohol ink onto some Copic paper so I have an extra background that I can make a card with later on. I'm just going to set that off to the side and I can have another card a little bit later. I'm going to 
die cut a small piece of this and use that on my card beautiful little card here I just needed a small piece of this for the background I didn't need the whole thing I know I went through a lot just to get that little piece. See, I have a lot of ink on my plate here. Just clean that off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Just a little bit. It'll be fine. No problem. Easy peasy. But it's still wet with the, the alcohol lift ink. So if you get your fingers in it too much, you're going to smear it. But notice how much also how much brighter it is than it was before I ran it through my die cut machine too. Uh, I lifted up a whole lot more of that ink. So you could actually, if you wanted to, you could press paper to it, just regular paper to it, and lift that pattern up even more, and it turns out brighter just like that, and you get another background. That's another way that you can pull that ink off of it and let it dry. But you de definitely want to make sure that you're not rubbing your finger across it because you're going to smear that alcohol lift ink and then you're going to have white spots where you don't want those white spots because it kind of bleaches it out too. So I'm just using some foam tape here to pop my sentiment up and then I'm going to glue down the bottom of my uh, pot and my little succulent here. And then we're going to make a bow out of some twine and we're going to pop on some little uh, black dots. They're really old dots. These are back in the day stamping up things that I had left over and I was like, hey, I'm going to pop these on because I've got them. I'm going to use them. So that's what I have. They're black and the um, Stampin' Up! has something similar to them now. They are little black matte dots. They're very similar and I will link to those. Do you ever make a mistake and put fingerprints on your cards? Sand Eraser is an amazing thing for that. I will have that link in uh, over on my blog for you as well. Super handy dandy little item is this Sand Eraser. I probably use it every single time I make a card to fix mistakes on stuff. I'm not the best in the world at making bows, but I do. I, I, I try. I try. And I very seldom put a bow on my card. And if I do, they're twine bows. So, here we go. And if you're wondering how come there's a change in my voice and how fast I'm talking and that kind of thing, I have new migraine medication and it doesn't hurt to talk anymore. <laughs> uh, I went from a pain, medica pain management medication and that was a day that was an as needed medication that was a uh, an actual pain migraine pain medication to a daily medication that is a preventative and I've been on it for a couple of days and I haven't felt this normal in years so I'm in a really good mood and, <laughs> and um, thought if y'all can continue happy thoughts and prayers for improvement in that area I would greatly appreciate it and I know y'all don't watch my videos to hear my personal stories like you know health stories and that kind of thing but I wanted to share that with y'all because I do I know I sound different talking a little bit faster and that kind of thing and I just kind of wanted y'all to know why um, I am doing much better I would also like to know what do y'all listen to and or watch when you're making cards drop me a comment down below because I would love to know I listen to Harry Potter a lot the I listen to the audiobooks and I also listen to my favorite TV show, which is Supernatural, which has 15 seasons. So it's a lot of material there. Uh, I would love to know what y'all do. Thanks for joining me. Y'all have a great day.